Alright guys, we're back for another weekly Grind Wednesday video. Uh, and this is the video where we go over all the events that are currently running on both the global and the JP side, including the event gotchas, and let you know when all their end dates are. So let's go ahead and start off with the global side like we typically do. So global side, the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragon, uh, well Dragon Ball Saga is here and it's running. Uh, essentially, Dragon Ball GT, right, this is one of the probably one of the best ones that come around because you get these metal apples. Now there's a couple cards in here you want to make note of. Uh, you have the GT Goku, the base form from Doken Awakens into Super Saiyan Goku GT. If you want to, you can feed him into the other Super Saiyan Goku GT. I believe there's only one card, there might be two, uh, that he feeds into if you want to do that grind. It's not worth it because they're not viable, uh, but you can do it. I would at least recommend getting him to Super Attack 10 and Doken Awakening him. He's not the best, but he's a little mini nuker. Uh, when he Doken Awakens, he is attack plus 7% for every key orb obtained. So that means it's not specific uh, to technique, which is awesome. I like that. Um, you also have Metal Roldo, uh, General Roldo, not the best unit in the game, but he's good for free to play for a strength team, so you can run him. Uh, the event has a lot of stages, there's a lot of Dragon Stones here, so if not for anything else, make sure you at least get the Dragon Stones. Uh, this is the event where you get the Pan GT medals, that's for the, some of the Dragon Ball Fusion Doken Awakens, uh, that's level uh, stage 6, the loot activated. Um, now with these medals, make sure you grind them out stage seven is where you're going to do it i saw a reddit post that did some math and they said that normal yields more results from metal apples uh, in terms of stamina to metal output ratio but um i'm going to still tell you to do it on hard just because it's probably going to be a little bit quicker rather than stamina stamina consumption but um i don't know i think it was only by like three uh three out of a hundred like three extra apples out of a hundred or something like that three percent extra out of a hundred um, but whatever, you know, that's up to you how you want to run that. You do this, you get these, and you go into the Baba shop. Baba has a whole bunch of different rewards. I did a video on this a long time ago. Uh, go ahead, take a look at the rewards, see what you want. If you're only going for Elder Kai's, grind out enough apples for those Elder Kai's. Outside of that, um, there's a whole bunch of cool units in here. If you want to grab them, make sure to get them. I just recommend doing the apples. Um, next one is going to be the Fusions event. Dragon Ball Fusions, the Fuse World, that runs until 11.27 at 10 p.m. So you have some time for that. You still have about another week, almost two weeks for that one. Um, if I didn't say it here for the Dragon Ball GT, this runs until uh, December 7th, so you have a whole bunch of time to run that. That is a little bit of a grind fest. Uh, the Fusions event, make sure you grind it out. I know I mentioned this before. Uh, you have Tekka and Pinnick. These two are free-to-play units. Go ahead, grind them out. I uh, would recommend getting all Dupes on lock of them as well. You're never going to utilize that. But just do it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to do that. Uh, especially for fusion characters that don't come around often. You might want to put them onto your fuse team. Um, I believe these guys can fit on... Actually, these guys cannot fit on a fuse team. But they're free to play. So they're always good to have free to play cards. Uh, make sure you grind out the Barlot Metals. Because if you don't grind out the Barlot Metals, you will not be able to Doken Awaken him. Uh, that's the only one. So you have Pandel and you have Bullpen, which you can get from the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragon event. Um, that doesn't come out often either. But you could at least get them uh, outside of this event. The Dragon Ball Fusion Sparlet Metal, you cannot make sure you get all seven of them while you have the chance to do so. Again, you have about two weeks left of that, a little bit under two weeks. Uh, the Majin Buu Candy Mischief event ends tonight. So if you haven't grinded it out, go ahead and do it. I would recommend you get a whole bunch of cool items, especially this um, uh, this uh, Deborah cookie. Attack plus 5% per key orb obtained, or physical key orb obtained, uh, for one turn, which makes a lot of people nuke. Uh, let's say if you have the Weirus and you have LR Gohan, could throw this item on there changes a whole you, you have the weirs to change everything to physical then you have the deborah cookie which changes a whole bunch of other orbs to physical and the lr gohan's gonna be hitting like crazy um that's just what i recommend doing because you can go ahead and grind it out and get a bunch of these you don't need it it's just cool for like nuking tactics if you want to like see large numbers uh out of that that's actually the only three events that are currently running on the global side uh, at least as of right now there should be an event that releases tonight which should be the Yo, Son Goku and his friends return, uh, but I'll talk about that next weekly grind, and I'll do a full video on covering that event when it comes live tomorrow, most likely. Um, Rising Dragon Carnival starts. Um, they actually have some really good deals here. Like, I think it was like five multi summons at 15 stones a summon. Now I'm only going to say this. I, have not, I haven't done a banner review. I will be doing a banner review on this most likely tomorrow or Friday. Um, I don't recommend pulling on that unless you don't have any of the characters. All the LRs are in there, but all the featured units are not that great. Uh, I'm just going to keep it at that really simple on this. This event runs until 11.23, so you have eight days to pull on this if you want to. Um, I would recommend waiting to find out to make sure that if the Gogeta and Janemba are live. If the Gogeta and Janemba aren't live next, by next week, then possibly running one or two multis on here would be worth it for you. 15 to 30 stones, depends. But if you see over here, all, all these guys are not really that worth it. 
Um, outside of that, just make sure to conserve your stones for the banners that you want if you are free to play. On the uh, last one, it, well, actually there's two left. Uh, World Tournament Exclusive Summons run until 11.29. Maybe I'll get around to doing some GSSRs. I may wait just because I didn't um, place in the World Tournament, and as much as I don't really care for that um, Vegito, it would be nice to have him for collective purposes. I just didn't want to do the grind. So uh, I will probably wait till the next uh, gacha pool before I start summoning it if he becomes available. Plus, I believe that Trunks will probably be added to the gacha pool as well. So... Um, outside of that, make sure to grind. If you have the medals, you can Dokken Awaken your Buffku, your Turles, uh, your Kid Goku, Vegeta, and your Bardock. And then I believe there's also, yeah, you have the Evil King Piccolo, the young version, the old version, which also Dokken Awaken from the World Tournament medals, from the local rankings, if you haven't already done so. Uh, you know, you can go ahead and Dokken Awaken those. Um, the next one is the category system launch. That runs until 1127 at 10 p.m. Uh, this is a decent one if you don't have any of the good characters. There are some good characters. Any of the go tanks are good, so I recommend getting them, plus the base forms. With the event that's going to come out tomorrow, the Yosun Goku and his friends return, those base forms will become Doken Wakenable. Um, so that's good. Uh, the next one is going to be the crossover summon for Dragon Ball Fusions that runs until Monday, 1127. Uh, so you have some time. Me, personally, I'm waiting for the discount stones if it is going to be Gogeta and Janemba. And after I pull on the Gogeta and Janemba, depending on my luck, I may do some summons on this banner. It really depends on what happens. 11.27, so stay tuned for that. We have about another uh, week and a half left until this ends, so you have time. Don't feel like you have to rush and pull on it. Uh, you get one GSSR per multi-summon. Um, Selza, Weiris, I did a whole bunch of videos on this, so go ahead and check them out about team building and an overview. Uh, both cards are really good, and a lot of cards in here are really good. I think the worst card in the pool is going to be with this uh, Janembu. Uh, and honestly, I don't know why, because Janembu is like... Janemba is one of my favorite characters, evil villains, and Majin Buu is just nuts. So I don't know why they made his character so garbage. But anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of worth it, but it ends on the 27th. I would recommend waiting. Uh, now we're going on to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. A JP side, the Bio Brawl event runs until 11.30. Uh, this event uh, has the Krillin, which you can farm at or an Awakened SSR, feed him into the Krillin you get from the Baba Shop if you haven't already done so. You have Bio Broly, which I'd recommend getting up to Super Attack 10. He's a decent tank. He's good for a monotech team if you want to run him on a monotech team. Uh, you have the Android 18 medals that are available here, and you could Dokken Awaken the Agility Goten Trunk, or the Goten and the Physical Trunks of Super Saiyans with the medals you grind from that event. Let me tell you, those medals are a pain in the butt. You grind those medals for Goten and Trunks in Stage 2, and the Android 18 medals in Stage 3. Krillins are on Stage 4, and Bio Brothers are on Stage 5, and if you're looking for some Zenny, Stage 1 drops Hercule statues, though it's RNG between the Bronze, the um, Silver, and the Gold. So that, that's up to you if you want to grind. There's better ways to make uh, to get any at that point. But that runs until 11:30, so you have 15 days left for that one. Uh, we're gonna go over here. We we'll, we have to get the rest of these to load now. Um, so we're gonna skip to this one real quick. So the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragons are available on the JP side as well. Runs until 11:21. Um, the same thing is here. Nothing else new is available uh, except for the fact that Trunks Doken Awakens. The uh, the technique Trunks will get a Doken Awakening with Trunks medals. So for the global players as well, if you want to go ahead and grind that the Trunks medals, I believe it's seven that Doken Awaken him, but you can go ahead and verify that on the wiki if you would like to. Um, but outside of that one Trunks, everything else is the same. It runs until 1121. We also have the Saiyan Warrior Race event that's out. This is where you Doken Awaken your Great Apes, uh, or at least the v Vegeta and the Raditz. So that's where you Doken Awaken these two with the Moon Nappa. I really think that it was just like a, a call out to, uh, you know, uh, Team Four Star with the, uh, Ghost Nappa. That's kind of what it looks like. But uh, yeah, so it's Moon Nappa, and uh, he will. those medals will allow you to token awaken your Vegeta and your Raditz, which is pretty cool. Uh, outside of that, you can farm this old school OG Gohan, and you can uh, farm out this uh, Nappa if you would like to. Uh, the Nappa token awakens into a great app, but he has a very low chance, and then you also have the Vegeta, which you can uh, grind out. Uh, outside of that, there's nothing really else special about the event. The most notable thing is Dragon Stones and these medals to get your great apes token awaken if you want to have a great ape team. Uh, the Majin Buu event, as stated before, I already went over that, ends tonight. Um, the Super Vegito event, the daily event, it, be, it being around every single day, ends in two days. So if you are still trying to grind it out, just make sure you do it soon, because then he'll only be back on physical. And I believe... Yeah, only on physical days, because I believe... Oh, no, okay. So he, he will be available on agility days as well. So he will only be available on physical days and agility days, which is two days a week, plus the heroes day. So he's available three days a week after this is over. Uh, one thing I did want to note... 
you can feed in the, there's a strength farmable unit, uh, and you could feed that strength farmable unit into your uh, base form uh, uh, intelligence Vegito, base form Vegito, and technique base form Vegito. So go ahead and grind that out. This is the one that I was talking about right here. Go ahead, grind him out, 50% chance, feed him in, and they'll get their super attack increased. I would recommend doing that uh, to get them up, especially the technique one, because the technique one is a very valuable player. Uh, D Dokken Fest is running right now for Vegito as well, R runs until 11.17, so make sure you go ahead and pull on that if you're looking to do that. The JP side did just get 300 stones, I'm probably going to do a community response video because everyone freaked out and thought that Bandai was rigging rates, which I can understand, it's very understandable, but um, they released some information stating that it was not the case, so uh, we'll go all talk about that a little bit later because I believe all the information that's needed has been found, but I'll, I'll definitely make a video uh, responding to everybody thinking Bandai was raking the rates. <clears throat> Kefla Banner runs until 11.30. Nothing special here. I already did a full review on that if you want to check that out. Uh, I wrote, I wouldn't recommend pulling on it. The Majin Buu Arc Category Summon is here. So uh, if you want to pull on that for some Majin Buu characters, you can. I don't really recommend it. I don't think they're all that great. Uh, but there are, you know, if you want to pull on it, go for it. Uh, that runs until 11.17, so you have two days left for that. And last but not least, we have the Strength Summons, which also run until 11.17. If you're looking for some support units, you do have Hit and Kaba, which are the Extreme and uh, Super or Hero support units, respectively. Um, plus, you get two Elder Kai's per multi-summon, so it's not really lose-lose. And I'm pretty sure Broly's on this banner, because the LRs are typically available on their mono banners. But uh, anyway, guys, that's everything that's here. I want to go ahead and take my notepad and throw it up on the screen for you like I typically do. You can go ahead and uh, read that, pause it if you want to, to take a look. I'm going to post this up over on the Multiverse on Facebook. If you would like to read through all that, um, that's going to be there available for you. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new, guys, and I will catch you later.